brothers and sisters, today, October 26, is the, is the Tuesday of the 30th day in ordinary time. And also the last day of our nine-day fiesta novena masses in honor of our beloved patron of Pope, St. Judeus, with the theme, Prophetic Dialogue, Unity Through Evangelizing Love. In today's Eucharistic celebration, our Mass presider is Reverend Father Efren de Guzman. Please stand as we begin the Holy Mass. Sa panahon ng lupa, sa panahon ng alisagana, sa panahon You are for the glory of the Lord. Bukas piyesta na. What are your expectations? Itaas natin ang mga devotees ng National Sign of St. Jude Tadeus, ang ating gobyerno, ating bayan, and all those who are so hungry and thirsty, seeking the divine will, the kingdom of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. That we may be worthy in preparation for this feast of St. Simon, St. Jutadeus. Let us pray. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, to my, my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of his wife, just as Christ is head of the church, he himself the Savior of the body. As the church is subordinate to Christ, so wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reverence to Christ and the Church. In any case, each one of you should love his wife as himself, and the wife should respect her husband. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those to fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those to fear the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to, you, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It's like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again, he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It's like yeast that a woman took and mix it with three measures of wheat flour and the whole batch of dough was leaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Pwede mong batiyan ang iyong katabi at sabihin, Welcome to the Kingdom of God. Yeah, mga nakangiti ang mata, masaya ha? Bukas, piyesta na. Ang kapal ng Bible, ano ang sentro? 200 times inulit. Kingdom of God. Our whole being, different parts, pero kung alin yung pinakamaliit, hindi napapansin. Andun pa lang Diyos. Nung panahon ni Jesus, Ano expectation mo sa kanya? Hinahanap nila misayas politiko. Ibaksak ang Roman Empire. Pero naparito siya. Catholic Universal. Unity and diversity. I have come that you may have life. Kaya, blessed are you? Andito ka? Ordinary? Kaya na kong green up eh. Ikaw ang parahon ng Novena, November, naghahanda. Pero Okto, kagabi naglalaba ako, ang dami ko nilaban, pinipilipi ko, Oy, October. Ah, para bang COVID, napipilipit, ang daming problema. Pero ang malaga nga yung panahon ng September, October, November, September, panahon ng pagpapatawad, ikaw na umunawa. Be subordinate to one another. Pamilya man, community, mag-asawa. I'm not a God of confusion na, ayun nga, sinabi na natin, COVID. Christ overcome kung yung BID, tanggalin sa puso mo yung vanity. Yung I, indifference. Eh, ang sakit ngayon, na sana marimahin yung mga bata. Kapag laro ka ng laro ng touch screen, Lumalakas ang vanity, ang indifference. Wala nang pakialam kahit na tinatawag na, kakain na. Uy, gawin mo yun. Yun ang D, diseases, distractions, death. Kaya pag ng Diyos, naalala ko po sa Afrika, kapag pinapahinto kami ng mga militar, pati nga mga rebels, minsan nga mga bandido, inahanapan kami ng Amunsang ka. Dahil sila ro, maraming bala, pero ang bala daw natin, rosary. Hinihingi nila rosary. At tinatanong, eh, kung magpodemos rin sa rasi, eh, paano daw dadasalin? Eh, kahit dasalin lang, ha? Sa jafay tabo sa bundad, mangyari ang kaloban mo. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Parang yung mga dasal ng mga divine will. Divine word. Kaya pag nakakita kayo ng mga madre, ayan, eh, sa community, kami mga pare, though we are not worthy, kayo naman, ordinary hidden. Kaya nga, sumasamba raw sa mga estatwa. Eh, bakit dadaan kay Mama Mer? Hindi. Lord, I am not worthy. Kaya dadaan ako kay St. Jude Tadeus. At sinasama natin si Simon. Simon, dinidinig ng Diyos ang panalangin mo. Pero, ibibigyan niya yung kailang mo lang para hindi kang ma-spoiled. At yung Jude, thank God, praise God. Paano? Surrender all. Magpatawad sa puso. 
Pwede bang sabihin sa iyong katabi, sa ganda ng iyong mata, nakita ko si Kristo. Pag-isabi nga, sa ganda ng iyong mga mata, nakita ko si Kristo. Yung palang mata na kang ingiti. Pero, ayun pa nga, itong problema natin. Panahon pa nga ng COVID, bukas, piyesta, eh, huwag na tayong mag-antay. Tayo na magbigay ng pag-asa. Kung makita ang kabaitan, bukas ang tao, yan, binibigyan natin ng pag-asa. Sabihin natin, huminga ng malalim, maging Kristong buhay, isurrender lahat, magpatawad sa puso, at para makasurvive, eh, diet muna. Paminan mga naming warm water, depression, kinukontrol. Kaya napakaganda na bago tayo nakinig ng salita, eh, kinurusan ng iso. Control, isip, bibig, control. Ay, itong puso, itong krus, mga negative feelings. Sa panahong ito, ang daming depression. At maraming, uh, sabi na matay ng cubit, hindi po, nag-suicide. Pero hindi rin nag-suicide kasi ang suicide, karamihan, trans medium hindi sila ang pumatay, demonyo. Nakita ko yan sa Amerika, sa Afrika. Ayun, maliit lang yung pinagsabita, nakakita lang ng dubid. Binali ang tuhod, pababa lang. Misteryo ng buhay, we are not fighting flesh and blood, spiritual warfare ito. At yung pikon, eh, paano, paano makikita ang kalaoban ng Diyos, Kingdom of God. Kaya nga, sa unang pagbasa, Great Mystery, but reference to Christ and the Church, be subordinate to one another. The one who serves the greatest. Yung inggit mo, bakit siya promoted ako ganyan lang? Bakit siya pumasa ako, hindi ako, pare-pareho lang po. At para sa mga exam, sabihin natin, eh ganun din nakita ko sa mga Pilipino sa iba eh. Dito man at sa Lakuan, nagme-major sa math. Nagaharap ng CPA, yung palang major sa math, eh sila may hawak ng projects ng United Nations, UNICEF, uh, Food for Work, World Vision, Red Cross, nakakatawa po. Kaya isang magandang kultura na makita natin sa mga Chinese eh, bata pa, multiplication table para share pang isip. Para naman paglaki ko ay yan, andyan ang pangkabuhayan. Dahil ang pag-aari ng Diyos eh, hindi na kahiwala, hindi lang ito spiritual pagpasok mo dito. Lord, bigyan mo ko ng strategy how to survive. Yung sinasabi nga sa Chinese na kung kiam, aanin natin ang misa, ang religion, asan ba income saving sa atin pagdating ng kagipitan, ng depression, eh, paano natin matutulungan ang ating pamilya, kamagana, kaibigan. Ordinary, hidden, unknown. Asan siya? Patunayan mo nga, nasaan ang kahaya ng Diyos? Hinihinga mo. Pero hindi ka niya pinipilit. Para bang isang nanay na mahal na mahal yung anak. Pero handang mamatay, magulang, kapatid, lolo at lola. Mahal na mahal ang baby niya. Dahil so innocent, so pure, ibinigay ng Diyos. Pero naroon ang Panginoon sa hidden, unknown, ordinary. Kaya nga, green, patron of the hopeless. Kagabi, may dinasalang kami rito. Si Enrique, pagsama sa dasal niyo ha. 13 years old lang, may sakit na. Eh nga, sabi ko, Lord, tulungan mo, pakontrol niya. Iwasan niya yung mga chichiria, mga soft drinks, wala nga diet. Kaya nga, salamat sa Panginoon. Uh, sabi ko sa kanya kagabi, kasama ko si Father Michael, dinadasalan namin na, uh, ayan, baguhin na muna yung maging gulay prutas, maraming warm water, sumunod sa magulang. Uh, hilumin ka ng dugo at pag-ibig ng Panginoon. Kanya-kanya tayong misyon, nakaupo sa likod, ordinary, nasa rapa, nasa kita, pero may unique story ang bawat isa. Hinaharap natin na tayo mapansin, meron po dyan, 24-7. God loves a unique presence, unique story, unique thanksgiving, unique surrender. Ang dasal lang natin, kung tayo nagpupunta nito, as a devotee, devote, devotion, Lord, asa yung dalawa, tatlo kaming magkaibigan. Para naman pagdating ng kagipitan, may alali ako. Okay na sa mag-asawa, sa magkasintahan, magwalang anak. Pero yun nga pong ating mission. Yan ang sinasabi ni Pope Francis, lahat tayo yung misyonaryo. Hindi niya sinabi, sumama ka sa 2030, hindi po. 
where two or three are gathered in my name. Ano pong isa sa buhay? Ano explanation sa kaharian ng Diyos? Para saan itong salitang ito? Para saan yung breaking of the bread? Na sinasabi ni Pope, pag nagdarasal ang pare, kung walang pare, sa Africa po ay eh, madre. Kung walang madre, katikista. Pag wala yung mga elderly, kayo, lay people noon pa man. Pinapatay ang Pope, ang mga bishops, ang mga pare. Sino nagmimisa? Mga lay people na katulad nyo. Sinasabi, Lord, na tayo sa aking padre para selebra. Rest upon us, Panginoon, wala. Ang mga disipulo mo, ikaw ang magmisa sa amin. At ang parting pinakakon nga, salita. Ito mga salita ng Panginoon, pag-ahari ng Diyos. Itong breaking of the bread, kapag nariyan na, ang brokenness, ang bitterness, ha, Maria, bitter herbs. Yung matagal ko nang pinupromote, kung nangangailangan ng powder dyan, ng bitter herbs ng tawa-tawa, serpentina, ng uh, malunggay. Ay, nako, magsabi lang po kayo, may mga madring gumagawa. Ang ginagamit eh, seaweeds. Ayun nga lang, hindi sila nagbibigay ng presyo. Binibili ko na lang ng 5 pesos per capsule. At tapos eh, titignan natin, hihingi rito eh, ng buwan. Simple, ordinary, hidden, wala ngayon, huwag kang nagda-doubt. Be subordinate. Ano po yan? Yung pagtingin mo sa iba, look at others better than you. Kung may pe-paramin dito, may pari man, may madre man, isipin mo. Nasa puso mo rin ang Panginoon at ni-unite niya tayo. It's a mystery of love. Kasi nga, eh, para lumabas, ang bunga ng is ng kingdom of God. Andiyan ba yung love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, nakokontrol na ba with love? Ang iyong isip, bibig puso, yung mo bang depression mo, cross mo, dinadala mo ba? Nasasabi mo na bang, I rejoice in my sufferings to complete the sufferings of Jesus. Kaya nga po, sa pagkahari ng Diyos, meron nga, pero hindi sa, ano, hindi sa money, power, and glory, hindi yung I, me, myself. Matthew 25, whatsoever you do to the least of my brethren. Kaya, isama natin yung mga dasal, hinihingi ni Father Linus, ni Father Wong, mga pari dito, mga madre, yung si Gigi, nasa katutubo natin, Sierra Madre, Quezon, kami naman po ay eh, sa Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, ngayon na Bagyo, eh, talaga naman ganyan talaga ang buhay, ang daming pagsubok. At uh, sa inyo, mga kahilingan nyo, kayong mga nasa online, Tinataas namin, rosary at misa, kasama kayo lagi. Dahil alam namin, iilan lang tayo. Sa isang daang katoliko, eh, halos 10% lang ang nagpa-practice dahil hindi madali itong salitang ito. Nakakaantok, hindi madali itong breaking of the bread. Pero hindi naman lalapit sa iyo si Lord. If you are not broken hearted, kung wala kang bitterness, kaya salamat. Kay Mama Mary, Miriam, bitterness sa ating buhay. Dahil itong pagkahari ng Diyos, ordinary, hidden, unknown, tulad ng mustard seed, mustasa, pinhi, at tulad ng harina, may levadura, palalakihin, tinapay na napiraso. Yan po ang pagsasabuhay. Ulitin nga natin, to share the kingdom of God. First with my family, then with my friends, A community of forgiveness, sharing with justice, love and compassion to one another, and not to be possessive, but to share His blessings with the least, the last, and the lost. Naalala natin yung tingmimi sa lagi po nakakonek yan. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brethren, you did it to me. To in case na ito, kasama ko po mga madre, mga lay people, at Muslim, born again. Ano po yan? Bulag, handicap, katutubo. Ngayon ko alam pa po, po iba pong reliyon, yun po, pirma lang natin. Kasama natin, madre kayo, pirma lang. Magkakaraw ng bahay sa mga informal settlers. Pero madalas sa probinsya, di Alp, sa Metro Manila, napakahirap. Isama niyo po sa dasal. Ah, nakaka-depress. Kaya maraming drugs at corruption kasi lumaki. Niwala man lang bahay. Eh, meron naman palang programa na itinisinimula na ng mga misinari. Ngayon, ipinagpapatuloy, ganyan din sa ibang bansa. Huwag maghiyang matanong, huwag mahiyang magtanong, pumunta sa kinaukulan, gobyerno, makiusap. Ito'y grupong matinoko, may income savings, isa sa pamilya, 
may regular income, mababayaran ng pahiram. At ito'y parang tulong na rin sa mga darating pang mga members ay makasali. Yan ang religion, yan ang misa na nakakunek po sa mga nangangailangan. With you, for the glory of the Lord, sa paghahanda natin sa piyasang ito, sabihin natin, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Like a great tree with flourishing branches, or like a seed quietly growing, ordinary, hidden, unknown, like you, for the glory of God. So the kingdom of love spreads. We make our prayers together as our share in that loving plan of divine providence for the poor. Sasagot po tayo, God of life, make our lives life-giving. God, God of, of life, life make, make our, our lives life-giving. Life -giving. That the church may continue to grow by welcoming and redeeming human cultures and values. Let us pray to the Lord. God of life, make our lives life-giving. That those involved in economic development programs may support farmers and may those who develop the land protect and respect the natural environment let us pray to the Lord. God of life, make our lives life-giving. That our families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. God of life, make our lives life-giving. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and may be strengthened through our care and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. God of life, make our lives life-giving. That our beloved dead may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God of life, make our lives life-giving. We pray for those who express acts of love and care of for others, especially the medical and health care practitioners who dedicated their lives in the service of others. Let us pray to the Lord. God of life, make our lives life-giving. We pray for the victims of Typhoon Kinta. May they be comforted by the love of God and be able to recover from, the, from this difficult situation, let us pray to the Lord. God of life, make our lives life-giving. We pray for the urgent concerns of the community, the online prayer request, and the intentions offered in this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. God of life, make our lives life-giving. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions. Personal intentions ng mga online devotees ng St. Jude Tadeus, kayong mga narito, to seek first the kingdom of God in His righteousness, ng sasalita, breaking of the bread, we are not worthy, pero sana tayo na ang right person in the right time, right place, right vision and mission. Tayo na nagdadala. Heavenly Father, you know each and every one of us here present. Yung malaking problema rito, andun ka. Help us to grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Salamat sa timetable, sa time management ng aming buhay. Open our hearts to forgiveness. To be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. To your word of love so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
suat kalua di makanya baik waktu lama dias bikin kopi dulu akan lagi untuk saya tanggapi akan alaiko lawa aidami Lamang nama wala nang ipapa ako mahi Wala nang ibang hinihingi sapagkat Diyos lang ang makapupuno only God can satisfy the greatest longing of your heart Look we pray O Lord on the offering we make to your majesty that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all for your honor and glory through Christ our Lord Amen Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God It is right and just. It is right and just to give you thanks in all the circumstances of our lives in the name of your loving Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, to help us in our true conversion and reconciliation, fulfilling your will in gaining for you a sanctified people. For our true sanctification is to alleviate the pain and sufferings. Of the least, the last, and the lost, and so with all angels, saints, and martyrs, we declare your glory as with one voice we sing. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in 
memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Si Cristo ay gumitagi Sa aming ay minawi Bilang pagkaiyuli Pinagsasaluhan natin in memory of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy, religious sisters, all Christian families and communities, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, cured by them by the love and blood of Jesus. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostle Saint Jude Tadeus, and all the saints and martyrs, martyrs in China, in Korea, in the Middle East, Africa, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Pakitaas po ang dalawang kamay kay Kristo, damhin ang kanyang pagmamahal, pasalamatan siya sa lahat ng pagsubok. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos Ama, makapangyarihan. Kasama ng Espiritu Santo, magpasawalang hanggang. For our intentions, supplications, thanksgiving, for our conversion, the summary of our faith, the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us.
there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. One God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a short announcement. On October 28, Wednesday, the feast day of our beloved Saint Jude Te Deus, the fiesta masses are as follows. 6.30 in the morning online, 9 o'clock in the morning online, with His Excellency Most Reverend Bishop Broderick Pabilio Didi, Apostolic Administrator of the Archdiocese of Manila, as the main presider. At 12 o'clock noon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 5 o'clock in the afternoon online, and 7 o'clock in the evening. We look forward to a blessed and joyous fiesta celebration as the National Shrine of St. Judeus celebrates its 66th foundation year. Thank you. God graciously bless us all. And on behalf of the community gathered here, we thank Reverend Father Efren de Guzman for today's Eucharistic celebration. And we also thank all of you for participating in the Holy Mass. Palakpangat po natin sa lila. And please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and all your loved ones in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Please turn to page 15. We invoke the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, God who didst teach, teach the hearts, hearts of thy faithful, faithful people by, by sending them the light of thy Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please turn to page 34, the epistle of St. Jude, verse 25. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, belong glory and majesty, dominion and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. We pray thee, almighty and eternal God, who through Jesus Christ has revealed thy glory to all nations, to preserve the works of thy mercy, that thy church being spread through the whole world, may continue with unchanging faith in the confession of thy name. We pray thee, who alone art God and holy, to endow with heavenly knowledge, sincere seal and sanctity of life, our sovereign pontiff, the vicar, vicar of our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, in the, the government of his church, church. likewise our, our beloved bishops, bishops all other bishops, bishops prelates and, and pastors, pastors of the church, the church and especially those who are appointed to exercise among us the functions of the holy ministry and conduct thy people in the ways of salvation. We pray thee, O God of might, wisdom, and justice, through whom authority is rightly administered, laws are enacted and judgment decreed, assist with thy Holy Spirit of counsel and fortitude the President of the Philippines, that his administration may be conducted in righteousness and be eminently useful to thy people, over whom he presides by encouraging due respect for virtue and religion, by a faithful execution of the laws in justice and mercy, and by restraining vice and immorality. Let the light of thy divine wisdom direct the deliberations of Congress and shine forth in all proceedings and laws framed for our rule and government, so that they may tend to the preservation of peace, the promotion of national happiness, the increase of industry, sobriety, and useful knowledge, and may perpetuate to, the, to, the, to, you, to us the blessing of equal liberty. We pray for his honor, the mayor of Manila, for the members of the board, for all judges, magistrates, and other officers who are appointed to guard our political welfare, that they may be enabled by their powerful protection to discharge the duties of their respective stations with honesty and ability. We recommend likewise to thine unbounded mercy all our brethren and fellow citizens throughout the Philippines, that they may be blessed in the knowledge and sanctified in the observance of thy most holy law, that they be preserved in union and in that peace which the world cannot give, and that after enjoying the blessings of this life, they may be admitted to those which are eternal. Finally, we pray to thee, O Lord of mercy, to remember the souls of thy servants departed who are gone before us with the sign of faith, and repose in the sleep of peace the souls of our parents, relatives, and friends, the souls of those who, when living, were devotees of St. Jude, and particularly of such as are lately deceased, the souls of all benefactors who proved their claim to our grateful and charitable remembrance. To these, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, grant we beseech thee a place of refreshment, light, and everlasting peace through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Novena Prayers O glorious Christ Apostle St. Judas, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I, I salute, salute thee to the, the most sacred heart of Jesus, 
Through this heart, I praise and thank God for all the graces He has bestowed upon thee. Humbly prostrate before thee, I implore thee through this heart to look down upon me with compassion. O despise not my poor prayers, let not my trust be confounded. To thee God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. All my life I will be grateful to thee, and will be thy faithful client, until I can thank thee in heaven. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for Pray us that, that before death, death we may expiate all our sins, sins by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the holy sacraments. Pray, Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle, Saint Judas. Faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered the beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused thee to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and invokes thee universally as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me, who am so miserable. Make use, I implore thee, of that particular privilege accorded to thee, to bring visible and speedy help, where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need, that I may receive the consolations and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations and sufferings, particularly. We also pray for the following intentions. For God's blessing on the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus and St. Jude Catholic School. For more vocations to the priestly and religious life. For board and bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations, and all our devotees and their petitions. And that I may bless God with thee and all the elect forever. I promise thee, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor thee as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to thee. Amen. Saint Jude Tadeus, pray for us. And for all who invoke thy aid. Let us pray. O Saint Jude Thaddeus, thou relative of Jesus Christ, thou glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for thy virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor of all who honor thee and trust in thee, thou art a powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions, I come to thee and entreat thee from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with thy powerful intercession, for thou hast received from God the privilege to assist with thy manifest help those who almost despair of all hope. Look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation, and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are strewn with thorns, and scarcely one moment passes, but are witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust, and almost despair prey upon my soul. Thou cannot forsake me in this sad plight. I will not depart from thee until thou hast heard me. O hasten to my aid. I will be grateful to thee all my life. I will honor thee as my special and powerful. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon thee and will encourage devotion to thee according to my power. Amen. Saint Jude Tadeus, pray for us and for all we invoke thy aid. 
My God, I firmly believe that Thou art really and corporally present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I adore Thee here present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship Thy sacred presence with all possible humility. O my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us, and to be able to speak to Him heart to heart with all confidence. Grant, O Lord, that I, having adored thy divine majesty here on earth in this wonderful sacrament, may be able to adore you eternally in heaven. Amen. We now pray the Oratio Imperata against the COVID-19. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for Pray us. us. San Roque. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunsod. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Jude Tadeus. Pray for us. We pray the prayer of Saint Gertrude, prayer for the souls in Purgatory. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son Jesus, in union with the masses offered throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in Purgatory, for sinners everywhere for sinners in the Universal Church, those in our homes and within our families, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. We pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. Together with our personal intentions, 
through the constant intercession of our beloved Patron of Hope, St. Jude Tadeus, we all pray. Our Father, Our Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Tanto me ergo sacramento, tenere voce lui, el antico documento, no voce da tritui, reset fides supplementum sensum, de fetui genitori genitoque nau sed iubilasio salus honor virtus coque sire benedicio procedenti avocro Comparsi laudasio, amen, amen. You have given them bread from heaven, containing in itself all the light. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion, grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. You have lived and reigned forever and ever. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ through God and through man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. 
Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. O Sacrament, O Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, be every moment thine. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before Thee. All on earth Thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore Thee. Infinite Thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign, infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Please turn to page 43, Blessing for the Sick. Grant Almighty and Eternal God everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for thy sake, for whom we implore the aid of thy tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to thee in thy church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the world, through the merits and intercession of His holy Apostle, Jude Tadeus, and all His saints, show them favor and mercy. Amen. Blessing of religious articles, please raise them. Lord, show us your mercy and love. And grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray to God Almighty Father that we may be transformed into Christ's image through the devout use of these signs as aids to prayer. May the Lord in His love and mercy cherish and reinforce with His blessings these tokens of your devotion and piety so that you may take up the course of the present life without offending anybody, and you may attain eternal life with joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We joyful hearts we sing this song to you, our dear. Saying to you today, you start patron saint, by your help and intercession, God has heard our cries and peace. We are grateful that we have you, Saint Jude, be our one in you. 
are grateful that we have you. Saint Jude, we are longing.